Part or two, but the big deal is the big hurricane. This could greatly, and I mean greatly, impact our weather by Thursday of this week. Uh, the numbers have not changed all that much today. Ivan still packing sustained winds of 160 miles per hour. This is an amazingly dangerous Category 5 hurricane. Two large hurricanes swept through Jackson County in 2004 within a two-week period. Hurricane Francis hit September 7th and 8th, followed by Ivan on September 16th and 17th. The back-to-back -back storms downed trees and power lines, flooded homes and businesses, and sent portions of the road sliding down the mountains. A section of NC-281 collapsed in the wake of Ivan's torrential rain, and NC-107 saw some 20 slides compromising the stretch of roadway between the Thorpe Power Plant and the Pine Creek Road. Flooding was widespread along the Tuckasegee River from the confluence of the East and West Forks through Callaway, Webster, and Dillsboro, forcing those in low-lying areas to evacuate. Hurricane Ivan was directly responsible for 91 deaths and about $18 billion in damage along its track. My name is Ivan. I'm one of the few that overcame adversity in the eye of the storm. They say what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. I believe that now. I look back on my life before I met Barbara. I remember the wind, the rain, I remember the fury. I remember losing my parents. What I got instead was a second chance and a new life with a wonderful family. I knew the moment I met Barbara, we needed each other. Something in her eyes and I knew there was someone missing in her life, just as someone was missing in mine. And the open car door was my signal to get in. When she brought me home, I met Rambo. It didn't take long for him to learn who was in charge. Oh, you know what we used to do? We used to chase squirrels for hours. We think squirrels are God's version of a living tennis ball, and we love tennis balls. It was our duty to protect our family from certain demise of these rabid creatures. I don't know why, but Mom always bought me toys. I figured I'd bury them out in the woods and she'd get the hint, but nope. She kept on buying them, and I just kept on burying them. Mom loved taking me down by the creek. She knew that was one of my favorite spots. I used to splash around in the water. I used to chase frogs, and on them hot days, I remember I used to like laying down with my belly in the water and lapping up the water. Mom used to laugh at me all the time when I did that. It made me feel good when I did. first storm that came along, I ran into the house to make sure Barbara was all right. I made her put both her hands on me to comfort her, and I knew this was working as she started humming tunes. She sure was a brave mom when we did this for every storm after that. My story is not unique to most dogs. In fact, it's mostly typical except for my second chance. I was rescued in more ways than one the day mom found me. I have met and loved many people. I had lost my best friend Rambo. I have lost many people along the way, but mom never left me. She was right there, right up until the time I had to go. Mom was right by my side. Now that I've crossed the rainbow bridge, I'm by her side forever.